So I've had this bucket list goal for the last, I don't know, decade or so. I've wanted to drink a bottle of wine from my birth year. Unfortunately, that's getting harder and harder with each passing year as I get older and older. But today is the day. Today, we're gonna drink a bottle of wine from 1985, my birth year, and we're going to find out, is it worth the exorbitant price that I paid for it? And more importantly, does it actually taste any good? Stay tuned. So if you're new here to Location Rebel, you probably don't know that the whole reason this site got started was because I wanted to hold myself accountable for the things I wanted to do in life. So way back in 2009, which is ancient in internet years, I published my bucket list. And over the years, I've done pretty cool things. Like I went to Cuba and smoked a cigar before the embargo was lifted. I played Pebble Beach Golf Course. I climbed a mountain. I lived on a tropical island. Um, you know, I've done a bunch of cool things, but over the last year or so, there haven't really been many cool things to do because we've all been stuck inside because of the whole COVID thing. So when I found the opportunity to procure this bottle of wine, which is a Spring Mountain 1985 Napa Valley Cabernet Sauvignon, I said, you know what? Let's do it. And so this evening, I will be sharing this bottle of wine with my dad, who became a dad in 1985, to celebrate both of our birthdays, which we just celebrated. Uh, is it gonna be any good? I have no idea. Have I actually ever heard of Spring Mountain Winery? No. I just know that this is a really, really old bottle of wine. And I'm curious to see if it's any good and worth the price I paid. So as I understand it, if you've got a fancy old bottle of wine, you're not just supposed to drink it. You've got to decant it, as they say. Well, fortunately, I, I have a decanter. I've never, never used it. I've just been pouring, putting all the corks for the bottles of wine that don't need decanting in it. And I think I need to do something about this. All right, so we don't need any of these anymore. This isn't quite going how I anticipated. We're getting there. How long was that? One minute and 57 seconds later, got a decanter. All right, it was your birthday recently. Yes, it was. What is the most pretentious gift I could give you? New guitar. You wish. Yes. Wow, it doesn't even have a label. That's that fancy. That's pretty fancy. I made it just for you. Did you? Look closely. Spring what's what's up? interesting about... It would be your birth year. It would be the year you became a dad. Ah, <laughs> yes it was. So tonight we're going to drink a 36-year-old bottle of wine and see if it's any good. Okay. Well, I'm looking forward to it. Probably wasn't quite as clean as it should have been, but we're, we're getting there. Think I can do it with key, or do you think I need the... <laughs> that cork is as old as you are. Is that a challenge? I think that's a challenge. Oh. I don't have a great feeling about this, but we'll... Oh, mostly almost good, except for that third of a cork that's now in the bottle. Oh no, oh. it's just getting worse. It's just getting worse. Can this save us? Is it too late? It's too late. That's gonna make it worse. Is it gonna make it worse? Okay, we can sift this out. This isn't, this isn't a total disaster yet. It, it's not my fault, it's 36 years old. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that, that's a, that's a cork that's been in there for a while.
Okay, so despite our little cork snafu, feeling uh, pretty good, good about this, we'll give this another hour or so, see what's what. First thing you notice is it's almost like brown. It's like, it's not just red, it's got a aged color to it, which makes me think we're, we're drinking something fancy or disgusting. I'm not sure which one it's gonna be, but paid a lot of money, so hopefully it's good. Pipe tobacco, old leather, fresh cut garden hose, new tennis ball cans. I actually get none of those last two, but if you haven't seen the movie Saw, you should go check it out. You say it tasted like a dessert wine or a dirt wine. It tastes very brown. <laughs> it's got kind of a brown flavor to it. Uh, kind of old, very old. Like my son. Okay, so to sum it up, it's getting better the more we drink it. I don't feel bad paying $95 for it. If I paid $300 for it, that might be a different story. And this is the kind of thing that we will talk about for years to come. So I count it as a win. My name is Sean Ogle. I'm the founder of this thing here at Location Rebel, where we teach you how to build small businesses you can run from anywhere in the world that give you the free time to do whatever it is you want to do in life. Like buy old expensive wine and share it with your family. Make sure to hit subscribe if you like this video. See you on the next one. Peace.